Here's seven templates that I would have set up in every single HubSpot system if I was a brand new user. So here's a look at my templates and I've got this folder called top five templates because let's face it, I started this video talking about the top five and then I added two more in so we're now at seven. So let's dive into what those are. The first one, I think so much business is happening on LinkedIn these days, going back and forth on the LinkedIn messages, which is let's face it, a hot freaking mess because LinkedIn messages, PS LinkedIn, if you're listing, not easy to use. So what I like to do is take the information or the conversation happening over on LinkedIn messages and move it over to HubSpot so I can actually track that dialogue and a template makes that super easy. So what I do is use this template. So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna pull up my inbox. So let's say I'm gonna talk to my friend Wes and he and I were talking on LinkedIn and he actually wants to uh, follow up. So I'll say LinkedIn. Um, convo follow-up and this is what it is. Hi Wes, I'm reaching out. Here's the link. Let's talk to it. So I might actually like add some context here, but it takes this conversation from LinkedIn over to HubSpot right away. He gets in my HubSpot and PS, I can even schedule a task right here to follow up with him after I send this. Bam. That's awesome. All right. Number two, a review request. If you happen to have a directory of any kind, Google, in our case, it's the HubSpot um, services directory and you want to ask for a request, here is a template. So we have a goal every month to get five to seven reviews. We're probably gonna bump that up here in quarter three, but I use this template. Our team uses this template, super easy to deploy. And again, we make this so that actually this needs to be updated. Let's go ahead and do this because you can't track in a template if you don't have it in as a URL. Perfect. We're gonna update that. And that is template number two. Number three, if you do any sort of podcast or a YouTube show or interviews of any sort, let's say you're doing a webinar and you have a guest host, this pre-show email or the pre-planning email of any endeavor is important. So here we've got, hey, here's the pod this week. Here's the name. Here's the reason for the episode. And when I fill this out and I need to send it to my guests. So let's say that I'm going to send it to my guest, Jen. She's an upcoming guest. We're going to look for podcast pre-show email right here. Perfect. Pod this week. Hi, Jen. Reason for episode here. In our templates over in our project planning, we've actually got these things and we've got questions, but this is literally, again, it's so much farther down the road and it makes our team consistent and our carry out of the podcast strategy. So that is template number three. Template number four, quote and pricing follow-up. So how many times does someone ask you to quote something and then you need to follow up with them and you need to do it in a consistent manner? So here we've got a HubSpot call follow-up. Hi, name. It was great chatting with you. Here's a recap. And for all of the services that we tend to offer, they fit in a couple of different buckets. And so this is a pretty standard offering um, of, of how we talk about our services. And then we can add additional context here if we want to. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and just cancel that. But we would send that as a follow up after a sales call. Super easy out the door. That is template number four. Number five post-webinar outreach into a CEO. Context for this is post-event reach and introduction. So as we pull this open, you'll see that we've got, you know, thanks for attending an XYZ event. I'm reaching out. Was it helpful? I'd like to introduce you to our CEO. Or in this case, it might be, I'd like to introduce you to our VP of sales or our director of growth, whatever. But this introduction makes it so easy for our team to execute and follow up with someone who's engaged with our content, but hasn't yet booked a meeting with maybe a decision maker. So this would actually be a template that doesn't have to be intro after webinar. It would just be an intro to an executive on your team that would move a sales process along. That's template number five. Number six, the email webinar invite template. How many times do we have a webinar where we've sent out marketing communication, but we don't have one-to-one -one emails going out from the sales team? So in this case, we use this email to invite people to an upcoming webinar you might've been on this one. It was about LinkedIn and HubSpot, super good video. It's over on the YouTube channel if you wanna check out the recording, but this is the webinar and register here. I hope to see you there. So our entire team of HubSpot specialists can send out this one-to-one. -one. We can use this in an automated sequence. Again, this template is killer because we do webinars every single month. So as a team, if you don't have a uh, template that invites people to an upcoming event, a webinar, whatever, this needs to be a template in your system. And number seven, this would be one of the onboarding templates. So onboarding is the time where you have something happening as a result of them closing a sale or transacting. So in this case, this is what our rep would use to reach out and actually say, hey, you went ahead and booked, you, you bought this service, and now here's our first email to step in and make sure that the next steps get done. So we call this the kickoff template, whatever it might be. You need some sort of kickoff, onboarding, initial touch point, these are the seven templates that as I was looking through, like when I'm saving time and how things are kind of fleshed out in our marketing and sales, 
these seven templates will save you a ton of time and really increase that consistency across the organization. Now, one final note I want to give you, and that is if you haven't done this process of actually writing down all the emails you send in a day and then revisiting, or even like you guys, you could go into your sent messages, see what types of emails you're sending, and then say, I could actually do this better with a template and a process, then bring that to your team and make templates out of that. That's a great way to level up in HubSpot. So again, let's review those seven templates together. A LinkedIn conversation follow-up, a review request, a pre-show email for your podcast or YouTube show, quote and pricing follow-up, post webinar or post event outreach introduction to an executive, an email webinar invite template, and lastly, an onboarding or kickoff template. If you get those in your CRM, you are halfway to the productivity you need when you first deploy the system. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. And if you found these helpful, you may also find the video that we have about the day in the life of sales using HubSpot CRM. Take a look at how Will uses the system and how he'd recommend to do that as well.